The Premier League's title race this season is something else and this one is going to get so close as Arsenal defeats Liverpool in a 3-1 big victory for Arsenal in the Premier League and Liverpool, they were left shattered. They didn't feel like the Liverpool we have seen this season till now. But Arsenal, one of the best performances by them this season as Bukai Osaka, the young star boy, opened the scoring followed by Gabriel Martinelli. It was a very weird goal, you know. What were Van Dijk and Alisson doing? <laughs> If, if you watch the clip, I can't post it here, but if you watch the clip, Van Dijk and Arsenal and Alisson fumbled and Gabriel Martinelli placed the ball into an open goal. Arsenal led 2-1 with Gabriel Martinelli scoring the second goal and the third goal scored by Leonard Trossard, the returning man. What a game! I thoroughly enjoyed, I genuinely enjoyed Arsenal playing football this way. Mikel Arteta's men are on another title charge, but this time they are not alone. Liverpool top the table with 51 points, but Arsenal are just behind them with 49 points. But in the title race, we have Liverpool, Arsenal, Manchester City with two games in hand, Aston Villa, Tottenham as well. This one is going to be fiery. This one is going to be intense. And this one is going to go the distance. I won't be surprised if we don't get a real winner by the end of the Premier League. Last match day, the excitement will be on next level. Man, let's talk about the game. Liverpool struggling to convert shots. Liverpool struggling to get shots on target. Arsenal dominated them heavily, 15 shots and 7 of them being on target, absolutely pressurizing them over and over and again, not letting Jurgen Klopp's men to breathe, even though they are a better side in terms of skilled players. But without Mohamed Salah, they don't feel like good in the attack. Darwin Nunez is still not the same player they wish to sign for. He's still not able to convert goals, he's still missing chances, whereas they need a lethal attacker. And I can understand why Jurgen Klopp is getting tired. Many might say it, it, it's time, but I think one of the main reasons can be not proper backing by the board to sign big players. Jurgen Klopp wanted players like Jude Bellingham who can convert the matches, but now he, don't, he doesn't have them and without Mohamed Salah, the team falls flat against bigger oppositions. Nonetheless, they are still at the first place and are competing for four trophies. So one defeat doesn't really change everything. But Manchester City, they have two games in hand. If they win both two, they go top of the table. And the surprise thing is, Arsenal last season also, they were at the top for almost half the season. But they still bottle it. Will Mikel Arteta's men do it this time will they bottle it again or will they keep calm be composed have all the composure in the world to make sure that they reach the finishing line it is to be seen what a fun game of football and i thoroughly enjoyed it premier league this season is gonna be next level make sure you catch every match chelsea is losing like all times but it's 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 what can be done. Mauricio Pochettino just can't do anything with this Chelsea squad. A young squad. Maybe sacking Pochettino might work. Well, we have seen this story before with many managers of Chelsea. Like and subscribe for more football update, guys. I'll be keeping you guys posted.